using the cotton pliers, pick up a small cotton pellet, wet it, and remove the excess water by squeezing it on the gauze. Place the damp cotton in the prepared cavity. Dispense the base first. Squeeze from the bottom of the tube to extrude a tiny amount. Wipe the nozzle clean and dispense approximately one millimeter of dical onto the mixing pad. Dispense the catalyst in the same manner. Be sure to use a different area of the gauze to clean the catalyst nozzle so as not to contaminate it with any of the base residue. Either the calcium applicator or the spoon excavator can be used for mixing. Use a stirring motion to mix the two paste together until a uniform color is achieved. This should not take more than 10 to 15 seconds. When finished mixing, wipe off the instrument and use the applicator to pick up a portion that is about the size of the prepared cavity. The tip of the spoon excavator can also be used, either the convex side or the concave side to apply the calcium hydroxide. Place it into the deepest portion of the cavity without contaminating the lateral wall. Allow the cement to flow along the floor of the cavity. Allow the cement to set. Proper setting requires humidity. Place a moist cotton pellet at the opening of the cavity on top of the newly placed cement for 30 seconds. Be sure that the cotton does not contact the cement. After 30 seconds, check the cement with the explorer to ensure that it cannot be penetrated. 